This conference will now be recorded. So that there it is for you, man. This is the easy to instances dashboard. We started. So right now that there is no running instances, I have stopped the instances over there. I have created the two instances over there and they are in the stopped status currently. Okay, and these are the availability zones. These are the instances type and different different types of instances we have already discussed in the previous classes. And this is an alarm we have we have not configured till now. No problem with this. We have just configured it once we are going for the CloudWatch uh, system. This is key name is Mahesh. Systems is a key name. Whatever you can configure it as per your requirement. And these are the security groups uh, configured. So this is the exactly the system uh, instances available there. So we can just launch the instances. So it it will be running the instances at the same time. Sorry, we have to. We don't have to launch. We have to just running the instances. Is that the instances? Okay, okay. So it is pending. So uh, if you look at this particular, particularly on the EC2 instances, they are the some of the instances is showing the there it is. The start button so you have to start your instances at the same time stop you can just stop all the instances the reboot instances you can do it but it is running it will be uh, reflecting there and then the option is terminate if you're going to terminate then your all sort of uh, services of your the institute instances will be stopped okay so uh, we have to just understand that what is the difference between a stop and terminate so this is the one instances this is connect it is going to be connect i get windows password it will uh, provide your passwords to you same time create template from the instances it will be uh, showing the template which is already uh, running on the win to 2016 same instances and this is the because already started so there is no hide of the options that is stop reboot and terminate options available there and then you can edit the text over there attach a auto scaling group we will uh, let you know that what is auto scaling group is all about the auto scaling group is, is basically when when we're using it to uh, launch the instances number of instances same times as per the load and and it will be increased and decreased as per the timing as per the load and attach i i am i am i am root means that the identity access manager rules we have to configure once we are going to the security council kind of things who can access and how can we access the systems change termination protection it is, it is basically uh, option used where uh, where uh, the uh, the termination uh, we have uh, going to the going into the system and we have to change the termination protection so so that uh, we have a specific uh, surety that yeah, we have to terminate the system at the same time view change user data we can just uh, change and we can view data inside this change shutdown behavior we just doing to going to do it later on change to um, unlimited we have just um, changed the uh, you know what the, the 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 financial the money part how how can we change the system same time to do some different time of, time of things this is get system logs so it will show is the what is the log of the system same time get instances screenshot so these are the some options is available. We can uh, uh, just if you click on this particular things that you will find out the locks of the system and windows is ready to use. So you can have several options that what is going on with your instances same time. So you can easily understand that what is uh, things are going on with your systems. OK, so it is uh, used for your troubleshooting part basically. And uh, we have to provide some more options there so mm, change it down behavior so this is uh, once you're going to uh, stop 
options available we have this terminate option available so once you're going to terminate it will be terminate all your ids and this is your id instance id is, is showing there so you have to make sure that which systems we are talking about uh, what is the behavior we have to going to stop always or we have to terminate all the time okay so these are some all options available there these are the descriptions to two micro types this is running instance same time this is your instances types and this is availability zone is showing there and uh, also the security groups is also mentioned there right uh, this is uh, security groups is, is there inbound tools and outbound tools we have also just take a look this is a public dns is also available there they are dns this is public ip address it's already mapped with this this private dns is showing there private ip address and security private ip address this this is basically uh, the reconfigured uh, status so when when once we're going for the cloud watch we it will be uh, we have to search, configure all sort of stuffs there later on and this is also this is monitoring part so we have to configure the cloud watch alarm this is these are the some you know what default uh, configured not because the system is not running that is only running status but we have not opened the system that is why there is no logs there once we're going to uh, log into the systems it will be showing the all sort of stuff is there so we will uh, these are some default things and we can once we're going for the you know what uh, cloud watch it will be we have to configure a number of things is there alarm and sns services are different different things okay so these are the some uh, uh, some important things which we just discussed about this particular ec2 instances and uh, this is the dashboard is all about and this is the event which is the events events occurred so there is no event is, is there right now and regions any any specific region what happened it will be showing here so there, there is no use of it as as per our this is the tax which you, if you have tagged any systems it will be showing here this is tag kind of stuffs then these are the reports what type of report was usage report what and any you know what uh, capacity management you have done it for this vpc or uh, ec2 instances you will find out the instances utilization report as well and these are the some limits and how can you increase the limit you have to request for the the, the aws team so they will increase your limits and these are the some different different type of uh, uh the services of the aws and you can increase the limit as per your company requirement these are the some instances we have just uh, launched and shut down or different different th things has happened this is in the templates which which we can use it later on so you can create a launch a template at any, any spot of time and this is on the spot once you you required some instances on the spot they are they are the some the different um, uh, you know what pricing so you can just uh, go for the same time so you are required is the quest on the spot and there you have got some different prices so you can just uh, uh, get the prices okay as per the requirement so this is depend on the what type, what type of requirement what type of capacity management you're doing it so as per your capacity you can just increase that uh, the instances at the same time and these are the some deserved instances which if you required some instances in the future so you can as per your capacity you can then deserve the instances for the future and uh, there is a uh, you know what uh, very low prices and you can just uh, very very uh, low prices so you can just uh, find out the right which prices i will go for it so it's a commitment of 12 months or 36 months three years or one year so as per your requirement you can go for it so you will get some uh, uh, more more than more discounts into this this is a dedicated host suppose uh, your company required some uh, exchange server or some equity server or some uh, servers where the where you have to just dedicatedly provide we don't require a specific specified rack you require your your own rack and your own instances on this particular rack so you can just go for dedicated to host particularly capacity reservations so you can just cap uh, as per your capacity you can just reserve the instances i require this one i require this one so you can just create a create the cap 
capacity derivations at the same time. Okay, so what type of instances you require? You can just go for the uh, capacity. I require the EBS volumes. You require different different type of servers types. So you can, as per your capacity, you can just make a plan of actions as per your company. Suppose your company is uh, is uh, required uh, the three servers at the same time, but you require the 10, 10 to 12 servers in the future. So you can just uh, go for the pricing part, differentiate the part, the pricing part, and you can, as per your capacity, you can uh, choose your hardware, default hardware, you can dedicate a hardware kind of stuff. So you can just provide the details over there. And how much quality quantity you require, number of servers is one, two, three. So you can just go for that. So as per your capacity management it is also important. So you can just go for it and you can just check the pricing. You can just go for the configuration part same time. So it is very easy to understand. It is very easy to, you know what, uh, uh, getting the prices. So it is uh, important for any company so that uh, go for and going for the capacity reservations. These are the same AMI images, a major machine images over there. So uh, you can use it as per your uh, company requirement of uh, a major images. Which again, yes, it is. It will be there. Okay, so you can you will find out there, and you can the most popular open source and commercial software from AWS Marketplace. So it is like a AWS Marketplace. You can just find out number of AMI images, and you can use it as per your require your requirement. If you require some more. Uh, um, you know what uh, bundle tasks you can just go for and learn about bundle if you do not have to bundle tasks you can bundle windows and instance in order to create a windows instance store back ami so you have got bundles of your operating systems at the same time from the aws and they will get some discount at the same time these are the some volumes this is uh, you know what once you, you have launch any instances it is by default uh, in, required some volumes to be added so these are the some uh, default volumes it, 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 it will be there this is primary volumes where the operating system is, is isn't used right now but you can create a like, secondary volume at the same times and you have to just provide some information that what type of uh, storage you require at second storage this is general purpose ssd so and this is provision ssd and cold ssd and throughput ssd and magnetic standard so you can just have number of options what type of volumes are required in the system suppose you you uh, launch instance and there is 30 gb or 30 gb um, space is provided as default in t2 micro but you require some more uh, volumes and different different storage so you can just go for it and click here and then provide number of sizes into this particular systems right so this is uh, you can go for the different availability zones sometimes they require some different availability zones of, and what is the speed of this particular read and write speed is depend on the what type of things we, we are going to add into the volume so this is the ST solid state drive is, is there so, and this is the read write speed and this is a, the size of this particular volumes and this is the availability zones we have to map into this and this simply we can have create a volumes and then we have to map to the particular things and if we require some snapshot we can you can also uh, use the same time so it is a uh, so it is very uh, easy to uh, create and it, it is very easy to map at the same times okay so once it is uh, will be there then we can we can have all these options available we have to map that particularly drive Lifecycle manager. So, uh, lifecycle manager is a created snapshot for lifecycle policies. We, if you have a number of screenshot of your uh, EC2 instances, so you can just create a lifecycle manager. So you can just provide the, the, the that is only the system uh, check checkpoint. We can say that. Suppose if you are working in the VMware environment and we have created number of snapshot, so a system restore point. It is it will be same like that. You can create a restore point today, and uh, these issues that happen, then you can restore your access um, restore point yesterday or whatever the date would be. So you can just create a restore point snapshot is there. 
already we have discussed about the security groups security groups basically allow the traffic from the uh, outside so you can just a uh, number of uh, number of you know what uh, accessibility we can just go for inborn and outbound rules we can create it so uh, if you're talking about the outbound rules we have different different I, ip addresses different different sorry services so we can enable all the services from the as per your uh, instance requirement Suppose uh, you have created a Linux environment, so you have to go for the SSH ena enable into this. Suppose you created the uh, mm, web server, so you have to enable the HTTP, HTTPS services. Suppose you created the uh, Windows environment, then you have to enable the um, um, the remote services like uh, mm, we can say that RTP is 389. So this is the re requirement as per your uh, uh, instances type, basically. So this allow traffic. What type of traffic will be allowed at the same time? That that is the only things we can do it here. And uh, these are the some you know what inbound rules or outbound rules. We can just modify it. We can delete the security groups. We can tag that security groups. We have copied to new same rules we require some some different security groups rule. So we can just copy the rules. So these are the some little things is there. You can just go for it. Elastic IP address basically is, is different from the public IP address, but it is using at the same 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 way. So it suppose we have five systems and it, these are all five systems in, into this uh, auto scaling group, and uh, you have providing some load balancing over there. So you have mapped the elastic load balance. Yes, you have to map the elastic IP address with the load balancers, so that uh, any traffic going to the different different uh, systems same times right so it is we can provide elastic ip address the public ip address will be showing by the client same time and there is a number of servers are inside the particular um, load balancers so that uh, client don't know the what is what what side what servers are using at same time so we can allocate a simple uh, ip address one i one elastic ip address is free for the steer and if you're going for the further uh, elastic ip address it will charge you money same time so you have just uh, allocated new new elastic ip address then you then simply you can just uh, associate the particular elastic ip address with the with the instance so these are the some uh, we, these are the two instances we have created and um, these are some the private address with ip address with map map with it and allot, allocate ip address so this is associate particular instances Right, so we can associate with the particular instances. We can particular uh, particularly, uh, particularly um, mapped with the particular network instances as well. So we have associated. We have just going to deassociate it, it again, and we can just uh, the delete it. So there is no billing is uh, release the addresses. Yes, we have to release the, 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 release the things. So this is all about. The elastic IP address. The main use of the, the elastic IP is basically used for the public IP address uh, kind of things. You can simply think. So placement is you don't have to any placement, so you can create any placement groups. It is basically used for you know what a grouping kind of things. You have created a cl cluster. You have to create a spread different different clusters. So grouping of the instances, the AWS command interface you can use it for the same times. This is like the commands, and you can just provide a specific commands. Suppose you see if you have Windows command prompt or Windows PowerShell command, so you can just write down the commands over there. In the big MNCs, if you have learned that the group policy is working, the group policy is working, then there is a once the system is open, that the, the desktop environment will be changed, or so you can just provide some cleanup kind of uh, uh, CLI uh, scripting. So you can just map it over there on the security groups and then uh, security groups or you can just clean up environment whatever you like it and then it will be running same time once your uh, uh, system will be working key page is basically your uh, you know what the, the 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 keys which you have created for the to log into the systems so they will be you know what uh, stored in the particular uh, you, know, you know what uh, place so it's, uh, the, the place name is called uh, Called a key pairs, so you will find that all your keys is at the same same place. Network interfaces, network interfaces, or whatever interfaces you have just uh, is created. Okay, these are the some public IP addresses mapped with this. This is primary IP addresses, 
my private IP address is also mapped with this particular thing. So you have to find out all the network interfaces, number of interfaces. And these are the two. Uh, uh, basically, we have created the instances and we have mapped the network interfaces with the particular uh, instances. okay so the load balances we are just talking about so the load balance is also the three types of load balances uh, we are just uh, talking about wait a second it should be open yes those are the, the, we are just talking about the create load balances they are, they are these are some three types of load balancer application load balancers, network load balancer, and classic load balancer. So HTTPS, HTTP, HTTP load balancer, basically it is used for the web application servers, right? Suppose you have to uh, launch your applications, so the, you require the HTTP, HTTP servers. And if you have some network load balancer, so it is required your network uh, latency or network usage and network, uh, what type of network is using same time. So you can just uh, in and out inbound traffic outbound traffic and uh, how your network is uses at the same time so you can create network load balance at the same times and choose a classic load balancer when you have existing applications running on ec2 in classic networks so uh, most of the times the the 80 percent chances you have to create the http https traffic at the same time because a ws environment basically used for to uh, website uh, launching or website usage or website development kind of things and uh, the number of you know what uh, mm, the globalized environment in your applications and when the once the user from the different different globalized environment and accessing your website and uh, what type of load is coming so there's a load uh, is coming on the application load balance and then it is more to the different different availability scalability set and the other different different servers are there so the traffic is going with the availability set to your the load balancer and we have come map your public ip address with the pub, application load balancer and the uh, the users are hit the, the public ip address or elastic load balancer and then it is moved to the, the same kind of stuff so it is very easy to create no problem with this you have this specific required it is required more, uh, two or more than uh, you know what instances running at the same time because uh, uh, this is the requirement what only one uh, instance you cannot go for the load balancers we, it is required more than two or three five systems so that uh, the the loading is uh, the load have to be transferred to a different instance same time if this load is very high so these are the some so you know what five uh, six stages we we're going to out configure load balancers configure security setting configure security groups and configure routing uh, just a target so this name of your uh, we can uh, the load balancer test lb we can move map it internet facing or internal what type of internet facing it means that publicly uh, public um, users are hit into the particular load balancer and internal so internal facing you can also create your internal load balancer okay this and this is ip address type ip version 4 is basically used used for it and uh, this is the load balancer you know what the http traffic uh, is listener we can also map to the http at the same times HTTPS, https so these are the some port numbers if your application are using some different uh, port numbers you can just map it this is a different because uh, uh, in the modern environment there, there are so much hacking is going on so that um if hackers also know that this is if, if if your application is working on the http environment there there would be the port number that by default is 80. so uh, most of the times uh, the application developers are changing their uh, uh, um, the port right so these are the some default ports so you can use it environment but if you have different environment different things available so you can just change the things the same times so these are the some availability zones so you have just provide some you know what this is one availability zones provided at the same times in this right and uh, mm, we have to go for other things is there if you if, if you would like to go for the you know what uh, add the tag so you can go for it then you can move it further at least two subnets must be required yes we know that 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 is only one point i will have to show it Mm, 
okay there's, there's, there's only one is there so we have to create another because in this the ap south lb the only one uh, vpc is available so we have we have to create another uh, you know what uh, the, v, the vpc into this particular and then we can map on the both things same same times so it is required more than two vpc at the same time so to, to provide the load balancer right uh wait a second wait a second so only yes because different different moment we have only created the one instance we require at least two uh, uh vpc a1b okay these are the sub default so uh we will we would like to create another vpc for the same same times to to the particular things this is south ap south 1a and then we have to move to the particular group into this and then then the, we have to configure the routing is over over there then the, the register targets so uh wait a second so that we have got to go to different things and we have to create another vpc for the same times and then we have to create a group in the same times so where, where we have to create the group is is basically this is ap south 1a this is one is available this is another we have to move at least at least two it's the same time submit at least two availability zone is the availability of your network load balancers so availability set vpc where it is created we have to just uh, understand uh, the things as where where we have created the things and ap so you have to first find out where we are created so these are the some things you have to just understand that once we're going uh, working on the same that where the instances we have created where the things are we have to map it this these are the things we have to work on it default and then cbf cscl now we required where it is created associate with the work wait a second
are you uh, listening or are you sleeping hello yes listening listening okay okay, okay great yeah yeah uh okay perfect so uh where we are we have to just you know what map the two uh, uh, availability zones zones there and that there should be the same availability zones uh, specify the availability zones enabled to your load balances the load balances route routes traffic to the target these availability zones and we require at least two availability zones and at least two vpc same times and then you have to uh, configure on the security groups and then you uh, configure the routing where the, your traffic is going there and then register the targets okay mm. so we will move we'll move there once we going for the universal theoretical part of this particular load balancer then we we need to you know what go for the the load balancer so don't worry we have just specific sessions we will provide it on, on the same kind of things and uh, this is that the, the target groups where we have to move your traffic same time required and this is the, you know what the, the the what type of groups we can we can create different different type of groups and we can just map with your uh, services this is http https if you creating the application load balancer then we have to map the target group is basically what type of group we have to send the traffic to this and these are the some you know what and the vpcs we have created so uh, it is required the same uh, availability zone and more than two vpc at same time and then we have to go for the grouping same time so we have specific creating the groups of the instances and vpcs and we have to target here this is the load balancer for the, for what and uh, launch uh, this is a, a available auto scaling auto scaling is basically used for uh, you know what sharing the traffic they increase as, as per the demand and uh, and it will decrease the instances same time same time that is also we are using it and we also creating the auto scaling groups and we have also target groups where we have to target the group so so the load balancer and the auto scaling the are we are using on the same same time you know what in the create create a launch configurations so we have a more what what type of things we have like that uh, we have provide the launch instances we can have go for it so we can uh, have, have options available that what type of instances we can have to map to the uh, the uh, auto scaling groups we have already created so we are using the same times same type of type of things okay so so there are there are multi multiple things you will just find out these are the some core services of your you know what uh, things and then a command state managers automations path combines and these are these are the things we we are, we are not so much used same time but uh, we will uh, documents and activations if you have windows is activation not activation what things are also this is the the patches of your systems this is it's it's passed or not passed it is deleted from the uh, aws environment or not environment so you have number of things you can just take a look that yeah this is uh, the things uh, so these are the some uh, important windows 2008 server patches released by the aws environment and when it was released and uh, we have to patch our systems or not patch our systems and aws is patching the systems or not patching the systems so they are different different things you will just take a take a look if you're going for the activations so most probably we are not using all sort of things uh, but uh, if you require then you have to go create uh, activations and different different activation of the windows environment you can just work on it no problem whatsoever these are the some documents things is available okay so this this command is basically a standby command different different command line is used for json file linux environment is is launched by the amazon and uh, and uh, you can use for this all those those commands for that automation purpose or or your working uh, fine into this aws environment so these are the some command these are the some new things new policies come to the picture from the aws and you can just map with your aws instances and this is a manage instances so how can you how can you perfectly manage your instances so this is the inst instance managers also avail available so you can create the environment and you can just manage how do you uh, manage the things is all about 
so if you have more than uh, 50 servers more than 100 servers more than uh, 200 500 number of servers so you can just manage the particular ec2 instances with a managed uh, system manager through the system manager basically right so these 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 are the some things that you can just go for these are the patch compliance these are the automations uh, comes is there so you can just uh, run, a, run a specific specific command to the, your systems and how do you automate your uh, instances okay so these these are the things you can just go for it if you have more than 50 servers more it's, it's very uh, you know what uh, corporate environments you have different different things available so patch compliance what are compl compliance is a patch groups you can create a patch groups and you can just um, um, provide a specific group name and then you can just patch the release the, 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 a the patch from your AWS environment to your different different EC2 instances and you can just specific then a specific command to the EC2 instances once it is launched so you can just go for this particular things so these are the some easy to uh, kind of things but most most probably you have to just work on the EC2 dashboard and also this on the spot uh, uh, the generation kind of things and AMIs and screenshots or volumes. So these are the these are the core services. Then you can work on it. And these are the load balancers and auto scaling. We are using it. And these are these are the Elastic IP address network interfaces. These are the security groups. These are the most important services. Then you have to work as a uh, as a system architect. So much. So right. So uh, we are just going again to the EC2 and uh, console, okay? So if you uh, if you look at this particular services, uh, and this is a light shell is also uh, is, is available. Light shell is basically used for, you know what, a developer. We don't have to uh, provide a specific rights to the particular uh, EC2 uh, console. This is the admin console, right? If you provide a access to the developers, so they can that they, they can launch instance same time and they can uh, uh, you know what check their uh, codes okay and then they will remove the, uh, the things at the same times so you can simply provide the light shell you know what access to the particular uh, developers and then they can you know what create create instance in a single in you know what in, in a minute or two minutes time and they can uh, remove the instance at the same time so if you're talking about some linux in environment we require some uh, applications with operating system or we require only operating systems so suppose the applications they also require so wordpress different different applications are also available same times so they will simply just go for is yeah we require only application based systems so you we, they, they can just you know what launch instance in the and these are the some uh, pricing of the instances the first month free 3.50 us dollars and uh, these are the some you know what um, uh, pricing part is also available same times and this is the memory you required some you know what transfer kind of systems you require some storage kind of systems okay and these are the some system times these are the word wordpress systems you will you will call it one system so you can increase increase the you know what and that the you know what number of instances same time you can create instance and it will be created instance at the same times so there is no glitch in, into this um, yeah it is it's pending and it's, it will be running very soon so it's, it's a very you know what automation kind of things everything will be uh, working from the aws you have to just create create your uh, requirement what what is your requirement so light shell basically is, is you know what automated uh, things available from the uh, my, uh, from the AWS so the developers or any person required to you know what uh, provide a instance sometimes so you have to just provide some networking database storage uh, different th th things and you can simply um, launch instance in the business within a one minute okay so these these are some uh, use cases you can just uh, uh, cre create yeah, it will it will take a little time to you know what uh, you know what uh, you no know, on working okay so i just give give some uh, two three minutes of the and then when it is up, you can just connect it later on so it will be working fine so light sale is basically used for the developers uh, or any person uh, uh, so the 
so that they can use their code this they can uh, work on work, work on it for a few times and then you can just uh, release the things and these are the some uh, things are available so we are just going to uh, stop this particular instance every because the charging will be coming and we can also delete at the same time where yes, it will be deleted okay so it will it will be deleted so we have the we have steady light shell we have uh, ECS, the lambda and the elastic band stick we are using a different use cases basically elastic band stick where we are using uh, the, the code is you know what automation code we are provided some serverless archi architecture so we are using this lambda in different different environments yeah create a function suppose suppose a developer is providing the code okay and you have to just done the code and with serverless architectures we don't require the servers to create for uh, to running a particular code you have to just you know what provide a code there and then you have to work on it that's your code without taking the serverless so we don't we don't require any you know what servers to create a, a code because in the previous time what happened if, if uh, developers is creating the code then we have to requ require different different uh, platform to test the particular code whether, the, whether it is working fine or not but in the in the lambda environment we don't require the um, different uh, you know what servers to test the code we have code is available we have to write down the code and we have to test in different different environments same times so it is reduce the time this flexibility the scalability comes to the pictures and same time the automation environment there is no serverless architecture so you don't have to pay for the server creation and testing different kind kind of things so you have to just provide some you know what testing code and uh, run times is this these are the some you know what different different types uh, kind of code is available python node js java dot net so these are the some you know what coding uh, types you can just uh, go for it and create a, a template you can just create a temp specific template and uh, then you can just simply um, test your code same time right so these are these this is the most important uh, you know what things uh, where the, you know what there is no time taking kind of thing is available so that is why the lambda is it's used, used into the pictures elastic band stick also we are using uh, for kind of coding kind of things the AWS elastic band stick is will deploy monitor and scale application quickly and easily suppose you have just to implement a in what coding or you just created the website so you can just deploy into the particular systems okay so uh, it will it will be running on the deployment part it will be monitoring your coding and your scalable application how quickly the uh, application is working environment so this is this is all about uh, work of the AWS and stick so it will be uh, how accessible your website is frequently and what is the network uses at the same time so this is uh, showing uh, all sort of informations at the same time so, so what type of environment of your application suppose a pre-configured docker environment pre-configured docker this is sometimes of some in terms of uh, types of your you know what this is windows ias we're talking about different different uh, you know what platform and simple applications upload your code so this is the dotnet is we have platform we are uh, choose it over here and then you can just upload your code and well, once you upload your code it will showing here you know what the resources type yeah how how much networking time how much uh, in 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 traffic how much outside traffic so all sort of information that will be reflecting same time so these are the basically uh, uh, website coding kind of stuff so the, play, the application developers are using the same kind of things and you can just providing the you know what access to the bench stick and lambda or sort of things and then they will just run a code and just checking whether it is working fine or not and what type of environment how much latency is uh, on the networking but how much you know what how can we monitor the latency the utilization of the particular uh, uh, things okay so this 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 is all about the elastic band stick we are using it 
<coughs> so you, you can uh, use so you can just use it as per your requirement you just create applications over there provide a name and then you can just providing different different things if you, if you have the code you can just take just same times and then it would be working fine so this is the env environment you have created the applications version create one so the different different environment you can create it just create create in create one environment this is ST web server so you, you can go for it and you can just go for this particular environment so this is a test environment domain name this is this kind of things you have to provide it the matter of fact that uh, how you are using it your app applic uh, applications just wait a second Yes, so uh, we just created a different environment over the years. So we have pick and pick environments. You can just pre uh, different things is available over there. So there's a different environment we can create it. And applications, versions, which applications you have to configure it. And what is the type of the sub services and different different labels is also providing it. So you can upload your applications, deployment, and number of things you can just go for it. And you can just save your configurations into this and you can just launch the environment. So these are the sort of things you can doing with this elastic banistic environment. Okay, so simply you can just also test the your uh, your web WordPress applications same times and you can just take a take a look. Okay. Hi, so, uh, hello, Manish. Yes, tell me. Hello. Yes. yes. Uh, so uh, I have one. I have one request. Can we stop it here? Uh, means uh, uh, can we uh, means schedule the training time for seven to eight because I have some pre scheduled activity after eight. So oh, that okay. Would be yeah. Yes. Sure. So uh, tomorrow we will just going with this eight. Uh, you know what? Uh, um, the auto scaling kind of steps, elastic load balancer kind of things, and road fifty three uh, sort of things, right? So we will just wrap up all the EC2 auto scaling and load balancers, Lambda, Elastic Bandstick, Light Shell, EC2, all sort of things. Okay. okay. Then we will have to move to the storage part. Then we will learn about the management tools, Cloud Watch, auto scaling. So number of things we will just go for the core services. Then we have to go for the, some security, IEM kind of things, inspector. We will take a look and different things, right? So we are wrapping the classes today, and then tomorrow we will just go further for some advanced things. Okay, you just do uh, just practice some kind of things, and then any uh, issues will be happen. Then let me know. Okay, so it is okay. good for you. Okay. Yeah, thank. Okay, thank you for thank you for all, all of you. Okay, thank you.